Hey, it's Tug hanging out with Kevin Harvick and uh, in town for the Atlanta Motor Speedway race, the big quick trip Folds of Honor 500. What What's your relationship to those folks uh, at uh, Folds of Honor? Because it's an incredible organization that does so much good for uh, so many uh, families of so many wounded soldiers. Yeah, we've had a great relationship with uh, Major Dan and, and everybody at, at the Folds of Honor uh, for the last several years, just for the fact that Budweiser was a, a big part of uh, helping get the Folds of Honor started, and, and, and they've been on our car, and we've been to Victory Lane, and, and, you know, Major Dan is just one of those people that's just a special person that you just feel better when you get done talking to him. So um, it's great to see what they do with all the uh, military families and the support that they give those families is, is pretty remarkable. No doubt about it. Uh, Atlanta, pretty good uh, speedway for you, huh? It's been a great track for us, although we haven't had as many uh, X's in the in the win column that I think we probably could have uh, on Sunday. We've we've been very fortunate to have led a lot of laps here and, and run really well. We just gotta we gotta get the the finishing part of it uh, a, a little bit more consistent. But in the end, it's a it's a great racetrack. I really enjoy coming here to to race. It's a it's a track that has uh, a lot of options, a lot of challenges, and and. Uh, uh, just very unique to itself uh, compared to all the rest of the tracks that we go to. Off the racetrack, uh, ever spend time in Atlanta? What do you do? We, and if you do, what do you do when you're here? Yeah, well, there's not many times that we get to do much outside of the racetrack because I, I like racing here a lot. So usually I'm running the Xfinity race or the truck race or, um, you know, not spending a lot of extra time anywhere but the racetrack. So I think as we come here this time, I'm excited. Uh, we've been to the aquarium before. That, that's quite, quite the spot. And, and this time we're uh, going to spend some time at the Supercross race to go see uh, uh, what they have going on Saturday night. So looking forward to that and, and uh, some good racing over the weekends at the Speedway. No doubt about it. So uh, donuts in front of uh, Phillips Arena, a lot, of, yeah. a lot of video on that. Have you ever done anything like that before? No, uh, not in Atlanta anyway. You know, we, we do that at the end of the year uh, down the strip in Las Vegas, but to, uh, to shut a street down in, in, fr in front of the arena here and, and be able to, to do some burnouts is, is always pretty fun just for the fact that you don't get put in jail for uh, taking a race car out on the with street. The, with a cop car in front. Yeah. Well, you, you did it right in front of the police yeah, cars. Not, not, only did, yeah, not only did we do the burnouts on the road, but we did the burnouts in front of the pretty much half the, uh, the fleet of cars there from the police station. No, not nervous at all, man, about uh, be being pulled over then because they closed the street. Yeah, well, I'm like a, I'm like a uh, well-trained dog, and really not that well-trained. You know, I just they just put me on a leash and, and tell me where to go, and I go try to do the best that I can at, at whatever the activity is, and then go from there. There you go. Continued success uh, following a, a super year last year with a championship and then uh, a great run at Daytona. Going to do well at, uh, in Atlanta, I'm sure. I, I hope so. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites and looking forward to uh, the challenge this weekend. Thanks so much.